Hello there and welcome to Prison Architect. So this time around we're going to be building a women's prison. Uh, this entire planning stage, which normally is done as one big long one hour long episode, is actually been recorded on the live stream, so you might see the occasional distraction. And that'll be me looking at the chat and having a bit of chuckle to myself. But I hope you enjoy anyway. If you like this process where I did it on the live stream, let me know and we'll do all the next prison uh, plannings in the live streams. But if you disliked it, let me know as well, because, you know, things change and we can always tweak it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. And on with the planning. Okay, so we've got large. We're going to go with a pacifier just to get a nice calm prison to, well, calmish prison to uh, work with. And we go through it. Okay, so let's go in and pause immediately. All right, so what we'll do is, I think we'll start it, is, uh, we'll, I thought I'll build the entrance. I have the, the entrance design... Get going and pick a site, but I usually go for the middle point of the map anyway, as you might have noticed. And then we'll build out from there, and then obviously we'll get to the main building itself. But first stage has got to be get rid of all these trees and put them all into my nice storage for selling. Like I always do, because trees are very useful when you're in the planning stage. So, game is paused. I'm going to find the middle point now. Boop. And this prison is currently workable area. Da, 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 da. 158. So if I put that to there and put that not necessarily side on with it. I don't know if we're gonna do that one actually. Uh 79 that side. And I've made that one back so I can do it. Uh, and this side the 79 again. 79. Boom boom boom. There we go, we have the midpoint. Diddly beep. And diddly beep. There we go, midpoint. And there we go. <laughs> okay, so that's 29 by 52 blocks. That's not bad. That's good. Alright, so. Let's see. We got. We'll start. Find the entrance. Um, not necessarily the same entrance we've had in the past few prisons, because that was uh, a bit uh, weirdy, but... Well, not weirdy. It's a bit. It's a good entrance, it just does a really good job of it, but I want to have something a bit different if we can. But it still has to be self-contained and capable. Let's start, first of all, we'll get rid of all these trees, and then we can start planning the entrance. So, uh, let's see. I want to move my delivery areas as well. Got my planning in place, yes. So, let's get the, place, let's get the guys moving. We'll get the delivery area, delivery, delivery, delivery area. Get that moved. I'll just plonk it down here for now. And we'll give them a garbage just so they can work on something if they need it. Because they might be something. And we'll get rid of these two. There we go. And those guys can get down there and land. Come on, guys. Out you get. There you go. Good. Right. So while they're doing that, we can go to dismantle object and get rid of all the trees. So all the trees go away. Because they're the uh, the bank of trees that we use every uh, episode as a, a nice little income accessory, we'll call it. <laughs> so we can, once we've got all the trees gone, we can start the actual planning of the entrance, and then start the cell building, well, building the planning in, in so they're all in. All right, so the bank is ready, and they are taking them down. Excellent. They'll move more to the delivery area, which we can deal with later. Excellent. Okay, so let's start planning with the entrance, the main wall area. So we've got our uh, central point there, which I do like to use for double doors and stuff. Uh, let's set it back a little bit this time round. Let's see. Um, let's see. I normally put a, a zoned area for a for deliveries like that. How have they delivered outside this time? Hmm. Yeah. Put deliveries outside this time. So we'll give ourselves a nice eight block there. And we'll put in our first bit of room. Should we put five by five there and down? And five by five there. Take that bit out. <coughs> Maybe make it bigger than five by five. Actually, make that five by ten. That could be the reception. So all the guards are in the reception. Okay, yeah. All the guards in the reception. Prisoners come through. Family come through. They have to pass through the reception, which means all the guards congregate there, which means anyone trying to escape walk through a big hall, basically. Then we have a nice big delivery area here. Let's we'll put a pathway in. Uh, put the pathway so I know where it is. There we go. If we have then delivery area of that size, 
and say garbage area and export area of the same size, so 8x9. It was. Excellent. And 8x9. Yep, we can always trim off of that and always add to it and whatnots in the future if we need to. But that'll be, top one will be deliveries, bottom one will be exports and garbage. It's a lot bigger than it needs to be, but I like symmetry. <laughs> we'll probably be eating into it anyway. Um, I think the garbage across the street was troublesome. I kind of like it over there, but it does mean it has to be small and it's, yeah. So, there we go, we'll do that. It might even be something that would be something a small, like two size, but so we'll figure it out. So the walls around here, which will mostly be fences, will just go like that to isolate those on the outside, and then we'll have gates coming across there and the fence coming up there. Just a simple, oh, a simple road gate system that you have normally. There we go. So that's just sort of your main entrance. You come in there, you come in there, you get taken into here. You pass through the area of reception. If you're a visitor, you continue on into these areas and whatnot. So yes. All right. So I think what we'll have is maybe let's take an office there and an office there. Oh, we don't have enough room for an office there. One more though. One more. Ooh. You know what? Let's have the one more. That room could actually be split if needed into something else. So we got, we got, we got things. So we've got two offices there. We have two offices here and uh, here, so we've got nice offices, so we'll have our people, excellent. And I always forget, how many do we need? We need uh, one for warden, one for the chef, one for foreman, uh, one for the accountant, probably one for the lawyer. So we need five offices in the main block and then separate ones for psychologists. So I always end up forgetting about the lawyer because, you know, he's a lawyer. <laughs> So we need a staff room as well, so we put the lawyer's office here, we can make that the staff room, like that, uh, or even that could be the warden's office actually. So you can have a door straight into there, and we can have a corridor, so I do like having the corridor there. So you come through here, you hit this corridor, you can go into the prison, or you can go up into visitation which will be here. Visitation. Yes. Put a path here to visitation it will allow people to go into visitation and break out really easily so i'm, I'm going to force them to go through the reception this time as part of the uh, escape process so prisoners visitors coming in with reception as well it's not ideal in a normal prison you wouldn't want them sort of stripping down prisoners as guests come in but you know reasons uh so here we'll have our visitation room which is going to be 23 and i don't know how big we need to make it let's go 23 by 23 a nice big visitation Probably not big enough to take the roof. If we pop down a table just to test it. So that's a single table, second table, third table, fourth table, fifth table, six. And we can get one more in there. It's a bit of a squeeze at the last person. Then if we have a two gap, oop, put them downwards. Uh, how have we done the tutorial part? The campaign? I have not touched the campaign at all. One second. I see you. Yes. Possible end games. Ooh, end games. Prison soul, bankruptcy, fired escapes, shut down by National Guard, uh, government takeover, and shareholder revolt. They've got all of those apart from the shareholder revolt in there, actually. Excellent. Uh, I can go away. I can go away. I can... Well, which one click would get rid of it? Like four clicks to get back to your game. Um, let's see. Padding. Uh... I really want the divider visitation part there. The divider? What, 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 what? Uh, so you have visitors come in and they are separated from the prisoners like a regular prison. Yeah, they will do. Oh, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. I like that idea. I've done it before. Uh, it's hard to set out, really. Uh, let's see, let's see. So if we bring it in, we put a, see, come from there. That's, that's where they come in. If we put a table up against that wall, we need a two gap that we're going to do with divider. Then we put one, and then one, and then one. Oop, uh, no, we need a gap on the firing, don't we? So it's that here. We put that to that to that to that to that. Then a gap. Hmm, might need to widen that to make it fit. Always oh, stop put the last table in. Always oh, an option. It's an option. All right, so the, the idea generally is that you put like that, like that, like that, 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 that. So you have your little dividers in there. 
So the prisoners sat on one side, the family sat on the other side. And then you have this gap at the end for them to go around. Um, we're going to want it on this side as well. So, if we put move it in by two squares, we'll divide it there. Boom, boom, divider. Boom, boom, divider. Boom, boom, divider. Boom, boom, divider. That actually works out quite well. Alright, so, we do it here. Up. And then in. Like that. And then in, like that. T-junctions. Like cell block building. <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go, there we go, and then that one can go. That one goes away because that needs to be tweaked a bit. Go away. Uh, let's just drop in the uh, tables so people can see what they look like. Boom, boom. So if you get four tables in the middle, then what you what we do is we put a wall across there to, to isolate the prisoners, and then we go a two gap like that, like that, like that. Ooh. Ah, go away. Like that, and we put. That up there. Go up two. Up two. Up two. Up two. Up two. Two more. Up two. Across. Like that. And then down, 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 down. Boop, 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 boop. Then up two. Up two. Cross. No. Would be there. Two, 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 two. I want to make sure this is big enough to do the job, so I'm planning the whole thing out. Like normally, I'll just stop a couple of tables and then go, hey, that's what it'll be. Like that. And then the objects would go in families on this side. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Hey, 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 hey get back in there. <laughs> like that, like that, like that. That and that, and then a bit of more wall to isolate it off there. And we've got the families on one side and the prison on the other side. Yes. Okay. So, is that enough visitation for this prison? Is that going to be enough visitation? Let's cancel those prisons before we actually get people coming in and causing havoc. Havoc. And they're still doing that. Nice. Uh, let's get the deliveries in the right area while we're uh, waiting for them. Uh, delivery, 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 delivery. There we go, deliveries. Put the delivery area in there where it goes. Put the garbage, we'll say, down at the bottom so people don't get to see it too much. Um, the rest will be exports, but we'll put them in yet because they'll start in the trees. I want to keep that money around for uh, reasons. Uh, okay, so we're going to go another, I would say, I'd say another two higher. A two higher. So to go to higher, get rid of that wall. Uh, we need to go up one more there, and then two more there, and down. And that will give us that, and that, and that, and that. The separation there, 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 and there. Hello, Emma. How are you doing? Okay, so that will give us that bit there, and then with there, I'm going over two high. We go up two, and then across. Help! And then we put gap there, and there, and there, and there. Up two notches, and let's drop those in. Like that. Yes. Them in. Put them in. Just planning in all the little cell, not cells, all the visitation tables. Wow! I don't think I've ever seen this much time on a visitation area ever. Uh, See two up. That wall can go up there. That can run across there. To there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Down to there. There we go. How's that looking for a uh, visitation block then? So that looks. That should do the job nicely. Uh, I'm happy with the size of that. I'll keep that one around. Um, we'll put some doors on the side of it. But there we go. That's our uh, visitation. So visitation. They come in. They can sit in the appropriate seats. And they're guessing on this side. And there's a wall separating them at all times. Excellent. All right, so that's the visitation done. We've got the entrance, we've got the holding cell, we've got the offices, and we've got the corridor. We all love and like the corridor. Um, so, we've got that, and then we need to expand that out to see what room we've got next to build. What room to next to build? Uh, we've got the storage there. Oh, we don't have storage storage. I didn't have to do storage. 
Uh, we need yard, shower, kitchen, canteen. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Staff rooms there. So I think the next room for distance will probably end up being the canteen. Because canteen needs to be really near the entrance, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so we're building that, building that, build that. And canteen, canteen. Walls. Uh, okay, so... Well, we've had a problem with canteens in the past, where they're always sort of exploding. <laughs> That's a technical term for it. So I'm thinking two canteens this time. Uh, one up here, one down there, with, with maybe shops and stuff in the middle. Let's see. Uh, boom, 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 boom. A nice big gap. Let's see. Build it down. Can kitchen to there. Uh, let's see. That one there. That in there. So, Emma, how are you doing? How's your new year been so far? Uh, to there. Bum, bum, bum. So, that give us a way in. Then we can have down there, and there, and there, and there. Hello, Maro. How you doing? And. We could even double up those like that. Ooh. That would work, that would work. But they'll, they'll be obviously filling in the gaps like that. And that, and that, and that, and then we put maybe the sink there and a sink there. Uh, put the door there and there. Oop, that uh, door, door. There. We've got two caps in the middle for bins and stuff. Excellent. Okay, so that's can sort of well, canteen. That's uh, kitchen number one. Kitchen number one. Which then requires a canteen, and we're gonna wrap the canteen around the side a little bit. I like doing that. That was, that was an interesting little thing to do. So we can have object this side. Uh, set a table there. And then have a wall go around it. Or we can just not. Let's cancel for not for a minute. Let's do walls. I'm planning the idea that maybe we don't. So two canteens. We may need to expand them. Hmm. Alright, so canteen number one. We'll have... Here, we'll have those serving tables there. And... Probably the serving tables there and there. So it's got enough serving tables to support the building. Then we'll have the tables themselves over there. And there. And there. And there. And then down the middle here. We'll probably put one there. Damn it. Got off centre. I don't want to put it at the back like that either because it would give a, a squeeze. Uh, what to do? What to do? We can expand it. We can narrow it. We can just leave it open. Put... Make it long. Hmm. Ooh, or we expand it by two squares at each side. Like that. Those out. And we put a door there and there for easy access. That would open it up for a an object. That would open it up for there and there and oh. Ah! Get rid of that one. There. At the same time, opening up this side. And this side. And this side. Uh, we can probably get away with... Dual tables. But that would be a gap with one again, which I don't really like the idea of. Although it's not undoable. Or... or, 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 or we double up. Like that. Got two gap in the middle. I like that. It's like a proper canteen, then, isn't it? With the land benches. Benches. There we go. There we go. Oop, oop, oop. And that side there. And that side there. Decent sized canteen. Excellent. Then what we can do is build on the back of that. There. We put in the. Bring that back a couple of more notches. Like that. Boop, boop, boop. Then we can put in a. Boom, 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 boom. Little uh, grated area at the back. Ugh. Okay. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Like that. Where we put in the wall there again. There again. Yeah. And then we've got the uh, area for the facilities, like we did last time. Um. There's four there and four. That's good. Then we have facilities, and we can have 
phones. If we actually bring that up to there, then we can put phone, phone box at booths like that. At the back. Bam, 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 bam. And even because this is a bigger gap, we can put them here as well. Bam, 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 bam. So we got a bit of expansion. We got more capability in there. Hey, I like that. I like actually like that design. And the doors are here. Draw everybody in from the front. We also have the option for secondary doors there, maybe back here. Or we can actually wall that off there, put doors there and there, and open that up as a straight through. Hmm. Uh, let's see, if we could, we could, we could, we could, we could open that up there, put a double door there, put a single door there and there, and then they can come in. There we go, so we've got doors there, got door there, got door there. I like it, I like it. Alright, so that entire block is 16 by 8 and starts at the entrance of this boop to there, boom, 16 by 8 16 by 8 and then we expand by 2 and then we go 28 in 28 in there you go two kitchens, yes uh, okay, so put the doors there and there. Okay, uh, how about three toilet and one shower to each little block? Entirely possible. Because all it is is to boom, 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 boom. In there, 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 there. And they do use the toilets more, which is more important. So we'll do that. I won't lay this one out because there's no reason to. We, got, we know what the layout is. So in the middle of this block, in the middle, we have a lot of spare room. I'm actually going to put those doors in because they're, they're annoying me that they're separated. Ah. And that, there we go. Uh, let's see. Right, so in the middle, we want we have shops. We've got all sorts of stuff in there, so we can go. What room do we have? What room do we have? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yard, and we have the classrooms and the chapel. They can all go in the middle. Excellent. All right, so let's start with the room near the entrance. Uh, parole rooms near the entrance, because if they're released, get them out of there. <laughs> Basically. Uh, I think that's a good idea. So, problems are basically offices and and whatnot. So, we'll put them here, right near the entrance. Give them a three gap. I do like the three gap. Yep. And they are to the entrance there. And I know that's too big. I'm just placing them down, first of all. Six by six. Done. There we go. That's one. And then the second one can go there. And another, another one can go there. And if it's done right. We've got enough room to bring it down by one more notch. Okay. So if we bring it down by one more notch, they'll be central. We have three rooms right there. There we go. Three rooms. Now that three rooms are very simple. They're going to be um, psychiatrist's office and parole. So we're going to need more of them. So here, oops. Put one of them there and put another one there. That will give us three paroles and, one psychi and two psychiatrists. I think that will work well. So we do that. We can have... The three pro rooms with this like a, a guarded area. Uh -huh. um, we can have a guard in that area at all times. The psychiatrist can be there and there. Does that work that nice, I think? Or we can do it the other way around, depending on what we put in. Alright, so this area here. Um, we can either make this a shop. Let me have that back there. So three and a three. Ooh, I like that idea. Cancel that. Uh, put the doors for the pro room there. There. There, with the, off with the offices here being there and there. Uh, <clears throat> Pro is 5x5. Five five. It is 5x5, five five, and I forgot that last time around as well. Damn it. Let me just double check it. Parole. 5x5. Five five. Damn it. Thank you very much, uh, Kirishu. Uh, yeah, I, I blanked on that last time when I built these as well. Okay, so there's our uh, psychiatry cells, psychiatry rooms. We should plan out, and then we have five by five. Bum, 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 there, and we have five by five there for our parole rooms. Three psychologists, psychologists, two paroles. Might as well put the door there and there then, and have a guard in the area. <sighs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, <coughs> da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, da, da. Right. So that's all that's done. And I think because of that, we will put in that protective wall then. Uh, so we have a guard walking up and down here. Ooh, let's make that a three, actually. I like threes. They look nicer. There we go. Uh, boop, boop, 
boom, boom, there we go. So the guard can walk up and down there, and if they kick off in these rooms, we can get them quickly. Good. Two should hopefully be enough. If not, we'll have to expand that some other way. Uh, don't forget the mail room. Thank you very much. Okay, so next one up after that, I think we'll go with... Because it's right next to these. Um, we're going to go around there. We've got a yard there. If we give everyone a yard for any yard time, they can go to the appropriate canteens afterwards. So it sort of gets them near the, near the canteens for feeding time. And we have, so we can have a yard immediately there. So the yard, if we could put the yard 16 by 16. But obviously we want to uh, half and half it. So we did 7 to there. And 7 to there. Okay, well, I'll light up for that back wall then. There we go. Because I really do like to have it like that. So that will do that. And we'll put that there. So we've got two yards, half and half. There we go. Okay, so that's the uh, yard. So the next section after a yard will be. I'm thinking we go. Right there. Infirmary? What do you think? Infirmary? Or we could go chapel. Oh, chapel probably a better idea, actually, over there. Chapel. Because then it can come out. A few notches. We go one, two, three, there. Out. And we bring that up there. And then one, two, three, out there. Uh, right. So that's the cell. That's been so far. <laughs> it does appear to be edging north ever so slightly, doesn't it? As the first canteen's lying with the entrance, and the second canteen's way up north. Ah, well, it'll be a slightly offset. I'm not going to move it all down, because it's a bit of a hassle to move it all down. All right. Uh, staff room is not central. It never is in my prison. I always put it near the offices. Um, I probably should put a centralised one, but yes. Uh, laundry areas. Laundry areas and cleaning areas are going to be dotted around. There's going to be at least two of each, I think, would be a good idea. Chapel. <clears throat> but we've got this like corridor we're building up here. We can put all the stuff in. We have cells up here and cells down here. So we're building up a bit of an idea. So this will be the chapel area. Uh, so the chapel, let's see, it needs to have... I'll be the... Uh, I bet I can't see them here, can I? Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we really need a copy and... We need a copy and paste for utilities and planning. Because it would be so much useful. But it's always useful just to go grab all of that, move it down a bit. Yes. All right. So next thing. Uh, can I get... Pews. How big are they? Are they four or five wide? They are four wide. Excellent. Okay, so in the chapel we could build four wide. Then a four, four, four wide. Four wide there. Then a four wide there. Uh, let's see. We set a four wide there and a four wide there. And then a four wide there. Then this side we do a four wide there, four wide there, and a four wide there. We don't have enough for a three. I really wish the altar was a four wide or a two wide because I could put it in much nicer. Uh, but it's a three, so put it there. Then we could go a four wide, four wide, and a four wide, four wide there. Then here we can go four and four and it's all nothing. <laughs> there we go. And that, so that thing it offsets it. It doesn't annoy me that one. It offsets it. So if we move them over one more each. There we go. And if we then wall that in like that. That's your primary chapel. Oops, a bit too close on the far side. Boop. There's your primary chapel. With the prayer mats section being back here. So we'll take out that door there. And we'll, oop, we'll bring that back. A couple of notches. Four. Is that fogging me enough? Boop. Doop, 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 doop. Four should be enough. And we'll move that bit of wall in there and that bit of wall in there because it just gives that a bit of like a privacy wall to the back of these pews. Ah, screw it. Do it that way. 
Like I always do it. Get rid of the wall. There we go. And that comes out how far? That comes out five. So on this side, we do the same. Out five. Boop. And then go back there. And then down there. Remove that wall. There we go. Boop. Dip, 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 dip. Maybe remove those and put a doll there. And main removing those and putting a doll there. There we go. And we have a doll. Let's get into the canteen easier. Excellent. That'll be it. Okay. Okay, so that's the. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, that, that building. Chapel. That's the chapel. Okay. So the next section will be shops. Shop, 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 shop. So on the shop and the library, we've got large. We don't want to be too, too large. So how about we shrink it back down again? Make them nine by nine and nine by nine. Put it in line with that. Excellent. So we can have the library there and the shop there. Okay. So actually, probably better putting a door there actually and there. I'm filling that up again. So easy way in. Good. And so that'll be the shops. Now the mail room, the mail room, mail, 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 mail. Mail comes in. Guards take the mail room from the storage to the mail room. Uh, put, put mail room here. And by my estimation last time around, the actual mail room needs to be decent size. So put the mail room there. And that was a 12 by 12 room. So we've got enough room for a 12 by 12 room here. Thank you. For 12 by 12 room. What are we going to put in 12 by 12? Uh, put the kennel there. Infirmary. We haven't got infirmary yet. Infirmary. Boop. Boop. Infirmary. Excellent. Um, so the infirmary is require a... The beds are that big and that big. And I like to have gaps between them. Damn it. Uh, so the beds go there and there and there and there and there and there. And there. Doesn't work for an infirmary. Doesn't work for an infirmary. Not that size. We could have to be the same size though. Uh, let's go there, there, then. There, there, and there, and then there. Yes, 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 yes. We just need one, one extra square, wasn't it? There we go. Then we can bring that down like that. Mog, what I'm thinking. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, I feel the infirmary is never big enough. No, you're right. I never knew the infirmary big enough because it's got all the other stuff doing it. So we've got a load of space down here we can build the infirmary. Let's not build near the very exit though, because there's going to be people going there quite regularly, aren't there? So, in fact, let's put the mail room top here. Uh, three wide. There we go. Make that 12 by 12. There we go. Door there. And then the one down here, this can be the infirmary. This can be a much bigger room, can't it? So it can actually go down like that. There we go. So we can put in the hospital bed there, the hospital bed there, and we'll put one there, and ah, they can share in the middle. What do you think? <laughs> Push them together in the middle. Uh, then we put down there, and there, and see how these get. Three in the middle. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Does all right there. Then we can always wall out there. Up there, like that, like that, and we can put the mock slabs. Just to remind the prisoners why when they've been there, you know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we might end up moving the uh, mock slabs later, but that that's like a good idea. We put the door there. Boop. All right, so we got the we got the uh, yeah we got the thingy room we got the yeah that one infirmary we have the infirmary built okay we haven't even built an army and a kennel yet so over here we've got the staff room it's where I kind of like to have my armories and kennels so we go over here we have the armory here armory's gonna be ten by ten 
more than enough for an Amri. Uh, and as a result, we want a nice 10 by 10. Let's go bigger. We had a problem with the number of dogs last time around. So with the kennel here with all the dogs in it. Uh, dog traits are only uh, one square, which is uh, wide, which is useful. So I won't put them all in. I'm just putting plan, and then we can put the armory door there. There we go. Okay. So that's the kennel. So actually, I'll just do that. So I will forget what that is. Otherwise, there we go. And do, and do, and do, and do, and do. There we go. All in. Right. So that's the kennels and the armory done. Um, let's see, you got paroles done, we got that done, we got reception done, uh, classrooms. I didn't forget the classrooms last time until quite late on, and I didn't, I didn't really plan them in, did I? Classrooms, oh, multiple classrooms, and I don't mind them being near the entrance. So let's put them over here. Uh, let's set them back a bit from the fence, so for contraband reasons. So we'll put them there. And I want a decent sized classroom this time, I want them to be quite long classrooms. The tables for classrooms are, are only one wide, so a bit like the uh, things there. So we'll do that, like that. Then we need a desk for the... Yeah, so that'll work. That will work quite nicely as a classroom. And that one can be the uh, teacher's table. Yes. All right, so that room is 9 by 14 We've got another 9 by 14 touching it. And we'll just test out another layout. But that, 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 and that. The gap. Like that. And then teacher table there. And maybe more here. I don't know. But doll there. Boom. And doll there. Boom. There we go. Ooh, uh, go away. <laughs> So we've got two classroom designs, that's good, that means we've got enough for the two classrooms plus the guards can do their training. Excellent. Thank you. Rooms. Right, so we've got army, we've got kennel, we've got uh, more, we've got clean cupboard, we've got to do the laundry and clean cupboards just yet. But those will go when we have the cells. Okay, so I think we're actually onto the cell design now, aren't we? Showers, yards. Yes, okay, I'm going to put down a holding cell. I think the holding cell should be here. Just immediately, you come through the, you come through the station, dum dum dum, holding cell. So the holding cell, bum 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 bum, can come here, like that, and I don't know how long I'll be going to be actually, one second. So we put a three gap, three gap, two gap there, uh, uh, there, 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 and then I like to have a table in here, like that, she puts a door there. Which means I probably want another one just to fill that in so it's nicely done. Oh, maybe even more. It'll be a bigger uh, three that side three. Yeah, that's alright. Bring it down to there. Okay, so that's gonna be shower and toilets. That's good. Okay, then this side. Probably do the same actually, showers and toilets this side. Uh beds. We're gonna use dorm beds because you know why not? I'll zigzag them, because I like zigzagging them. Like that. Ha! Go away. There, ah, there we go. Right, so that's our dorm beds there. It's only a holding cell, so it's not supposed to have too many in it. So we'll wall that off there. And we'll bring that back to some squares. And it lines up perfectly with that wall there. Excellent. So we take that one out. And we can put boom, 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 boom. There we go. Holding cell complete. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Holding cell. Next up is the... What are we on next? What are we on next? I think we have a cleaning cupboard here. Just to get them started in this area because we're going to be needing access to the, the kitchens and canteens for cleaning anyway. So our first cleaning cupboard should go here, I think. And they have very simple rooms. They're just um, cleaning cupboard. Just a three by three. Um, put a doll there. Let me get a double door for the fun of it. Uh, three by three. So a three wide. But we can go bigger. Bum, bum, bum. Cleaning cupboard, nice and big. Um, what do we have on the other side? We don't have anything up there for that side. Um, I'm not going to put it there, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put another clean cupboard further in towards the centre of the prison. Alright, so that's that there, that's that there. Next section up will be... 
laundry, and laundry will be actually near the cell block itself anyway. We have the lib we have the library there, we have the shop there. We've got Oh, we don't have a security office. Oh. I haven't built a security office. That's kind of odd of me. Bum 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 bum. Let's get around the back of the school, what do you think? Um Security office, security office. Take a piece of that out. I don't really like the idea of that. Um, it's where you take your, visit your guys for visitation reasons. Uh, no, visitation. It's where you take your guys for um, when the when the when snitches. It's where you take your snitches. So snitches, 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 snitches. Bum, 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 bum. It needs to be guard's office. Uh, security. There's going to be a lot of guards in it. Um, Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. How big is that? That's big enough. That's the armory. In fact, we can just take it out of the armory. Um. So six by six block. There. Put the door there and the second door there. So you have to go through the. Uh, you have to go through there to get into it. Because the armory will, that'll be fine for the armory. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's where it'll work. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, all to save. All right, so we have all of the main prison built. Uh, well, more designed. We just need to start putting the cells in. Okay, so it's just the workshop to do. Uh, and I do actually like the idea of using some of the space up, but the workshop can go here nicely. A nice 15 by 23. Eh? Right, so the workshop, you can't rotate them, which is really still annoying that you can't do that. But, if we start with a bench, ooh, we start with a 4 bench there, going all the way down. So there's a 4 bench there, and then maybe a 4 bench there, and then a 4 bench there. Okay, so we'll take that one out through there. It gives it a door possibility if we want it. Or we make it one square smaller. Uh, over here, we do the same. But let's get these planes. So here, we have two gaps, and then we want. Ooh, we want you, and you, and you, and you. And so that's our sauce. Then we put in our uh, presses. Then some more sauce. Then... We make that, ooh, actually, make, make that a narrower gap. They don't actually need to be that close. That's far apart from each other. Um, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. And then there and there and there and there. Take those out. Put three and three and three. Got plenty of benches, and then we can start putting down here the uh, craftsman's benches for making chairs and beds and stuff. You don't really need the four because you know that's a late game thing. Oh, we can always squeeze extra ones in if we wanted to. But that's something we can think about. Then down this side, we put another table array there. I should put that one that way on. And then we put doors in the bottoms and sides. Or maybe we can get rid of that table entirely and put a double door or something. I don't know. Okay, so that's the workshop planned. Yep, that looks good. I like the look of that. I might have an extension on there with more tables for materials. But there we go. Okay, now we're into building of the cell blocks. So, if we put the, sort of the, the first block here, which will be the nursery area, that'll do quite well. Just sort of stack it in here. Uh, and then main cells here, so sort of separated out. Let's see, we've got a projection to that. Let's go. Uh, let's see. They want to be sixteen by twelves. So can we fit sixteen by twelve starting in the centerpiece? Give ourselves a walkway down the middle. One, two, three. There and then there, and there. So that's gonna be a walkway down the very centre of the prison. Excellent. Done. All right. So if we do. A three gap. It's gonna be a high traffic area because people are gonna go around to these areas. So let's make it actually a bigger gap. Let's make it three plus another two. There we go. These want to be 16 by 12s. We planned these out earlier. 16 by 12. And then a three gap and 16 by 12. And three gap and 16 by 12. So all the cell blocks will be the same basic dimensions. The insides vary. We'll do five of these, I think. Let's play on. Boom. And boom. 16 by 12. There we go. And then this side will do the same. 16 by 12. 16 by 12. 16 by 12. 16 by 12. 
See? There we go. And you. And you. And you. And you. Okay. So there's our 16 by 12. That's our main block. There's going to be a secondary blocks and up and down. But those are our main blocks. So the way they're going to work internally is these are all cells. And they will have, if I remember rightly, uh, they will be long down like that with an end piece on like that or were they like that I can't remember which one we decided on boom 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 so we've got two, two cell block designs in mind we've got boom and boom so shower block there at the back and the other one is oh I remember now I remember now I remember entirely 100% there we go that's the one so the, the way it's going to work is going to have this. It's going to be the uh, tiny little shower block of three for these for these cells. And we have a common room here in each block. So there'll be each room will have a common room with a couple of pool tables, maybe. So that doesn't like it lines up as well as it did. Oh, because that's... Yeah, I remember. That, that, actually, that's better. Two uh, Maybe two chairs or something. Common room. There we go. Alternatively, I don't know which one we'll build, but the alternative design is we build down that side and out this side like this bam 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 then we have one that side and we put the showers there and then we have the pool table and the pool table and we have enough room for a single um thingy we'll put the showers that side we could bam 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 we put some form boosts there maybe and a chair so we've got two different versions we can go with. We've got either ways we can build. We decide that as we're building them. Yes. All right. So and they're all going to be the same sort of pattern, but in reverse orders, going down. Um, so shout at the back on this one, shout at the bottom on this one, and that'll be a full block of, uh, of of cell blocks. We're getting close to the top there. So what we'll do is we'll build down here. Now we've got loads of room to build down here. So what we'll probably do here is do, 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 do. could do the outside showers between the cells again. Uh, no, actually, I'm liking the idea of individual blocks. I'm actually liking that idea. Uh, I did like it. It was good. It was it was last, it was last prison design. So we give us a, a nice three gap wall. Ooh, let's uh, do that. A three gap. I like gap three gaps. And we have sixteen by twelve there. If I do a three gap, and a sixteen by twelve here. How close are we to the perimeter edge? Oh, we're a mile off. We got loads of room to play with. Okay, so sixteen by twelve. And a 16 by 12. And a 16 by 12. And a 16 by 12. Ah, see conformity in this prison. 16 by 12 everywhere. <laughs> and then there. That's not 16 by 12. Delete that one. Bum, 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 bum. And there. And then finally... That. So that is going to be our entire cell block wing. I might go one higher if we need more space. We probably might do it. We'll figure it out later on. But that's our entire cell block. Now what I want to do is that over here have that family cell block separately. Just kind of makes sense. So if we say build a three gap. One, two, three there. 16 by 12. And then one, two, three gap. 16 by 12. And... Two, probably need more than two. Um, I don't want to put many closest because I want to have expansion on these areas. Actually, no, 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 no. Bring them across to there. Make that sixteen by twelve, and a, and a three gap and a sixteen by twelve, and then a three gap and a sixteen by twelve. You see a plan pattern yet? These are very close to the edge, which is a downside. But uh, these are the family cells, and the family cell design is going to be wrong button. The family cells are going to be six by six, six by six, six by six. That side and this side will be reverse options. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So that's those before, and we also we can also build into these if we need more. 
and we got another line here, and we got another line or two get up there. So we got uh, expansion ability on those. Uh, they got, we designed them to be the same size, so they're simply dropping drop in. So we go, oh, that one doesn't want to be here. We need more family rooms. Let's build some more family rooms. So that, might, that entire row might be a family room. We might have another row of them there. But these four will be here initially, just the initial four. All right. So now we've got this gap in the middle, and we've got all these cell blocks. What we've got here is a nice gap for a laundry and a clean cupboard. Clean cupboard there. Laundry. So it jumps. Uh, so we've got a 3x3 three three and a 3x3. Three three. Doesn't give us much room to work in there. But how big is the laundry's room? The laundry is no minimum requirement. So we're just going to fit in the appropriate things. So we could put laundry here very easily. Drop a laundry there. Make it nice and long. We can put washing machines in on the top there. Maybe a second bank of them further down if we need to. We can then put in the ironing board. Go in like that. So we've got loads of ironing board room. We can probably have some more uh, washing machines. So they don't rotate either, which is a shame. But we can do more like that. So we've got, so we got some play but there. That will be our first laundry. And it sort of feeds immediately into this area. I kind of like that idea. Although, I don't know. Kind of odd being sat there. No, that can go away. That can just be a grassy area. We haven't had a grassy area to prison for a long while. So laundry number one goes over here. It feeds into the holding cell, into the things here, and then to these. Okay, liking that. So, all the uh, thingy number one will go here, and it'll be nine by twelve. Should do it. If we need bigger, we'll go bigger. But it gives us the ability to put in the Hanging boards, like that. Yes. And then we can wash machines across the top if we need as many as we need. And that room is very simply a box of 9x12. On this side, we'll do a similar 9x12. There. So that's two of them. And this one, however, the right side of it, I think we put, uh, oh, probably back here, another cleaning cupboard. A 9x12. It's actually a nice size. Maybe put one down there as well. And then just in case we need an extra one, a nine by twelve um, secondary cleaning cupboard. Now, <clears throat> for the excess, we have. I'm thinking that big, then the three, then that big, and then can we do, I want to go at the beginning. We need to, so we we'll do that big. Then the three, and then that big. And some people in the chat have already figured out what we're doing here, what I'm doing here. Because, you know, it's their idea. <laughs> Six, and we we'll get rid of that one. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. To there. Okay, and then maybe we'll put a clean cupboard on the end. If we have room. Actually, I don't mind having a clean cupboard stuck out from the edge. It doesn't look too bad. There we go. So these. <clears throat> if you're wondering, our uh, uh, white columns, yeah, them, it is. These are our dorms, small dorms, like that, with a door probably there and there, and this being a little shower block at the top. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So that's there. That there are dorms. We've got some dorms at the top. Got us clean there. We got clean there. All right. I think that is everything. Have we missed anything? Is there anything missing on our prison other than, of course, a wall around the outside, um, which I'm just planning now. Um, external wall. Just pretty much goes to there and then across. I will put the generators in, in a minute. I'm just putting the wall around first in case people are wondering. Bam, 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 bam. There, and I like that one gap. I don't know why I have that one gap there, but I do it sometimes. There we go. Alright, so. <clears throat> I think the prison's pretty well planned out. It looks quite good. I like it. Um, I might need to move those down a couple of notches, but we'll find that I'll get closer. Uh, no, don't like... Don't like I6. Not quite sure what you mean there, Yonic. Um, okay. So, generator room. To provide generator to the... 
canteen and workshop will be here as per usual it will be a standard issue keep it away from the wall too much um, <clears throat> put it there five by five for the generator goes there and I'm thinking we'll put the water put the water in it as well I usually do but I've been having problems with pumps yeah we'll put the water in it as well put the water there we'll build a wall around that it goes like that and it goes like that I'll put the door on the outside for the fire engines this time ah learning <laughs> that'll provide the bottom canteen and that and some of these cells the top one up here this one will provide a 5x5 five five. yep just a generator this one will go with a door there for those guys and then we have the double second wall okay no no I have to keep the prisoners away from the wall by having a second wall ah an isolation wall so I'm getting near that one. because if that blows up and burns a hole through the wall it's always nice to have a secondary separation wall around stops the prisoners getting anywhere near the perimeter wall and really isolates them so I'll bring it down there bump up oh that's a bit too close actually bring that one back a bit more Let's run that one to there I do kind of want it a bit closer we'll go there that clean cupboard is gonna have to go I'll rezone it later on because I want that to be about here because that should be outside the contraband range ah you see as well that's by the capital contraband over in my other prison my recent one so there and then this gets a bit more of the they're gonna come here for contraband I know they're gonna come here for contraband I can't stop that but what I can do is limit it okay so here we'll put a wall there and a wall there the fence actually but there we go that across there and then it can go up and that's our uh so this is a t entirely isolated area i will put some additional fences across that i think at some point but we keep the prisoners away from that wall <clears throat> so if they if that burns down and blows a hole, burns a hole in the wall prisoners can't just escape through the hall because secondary defensive wall <laughs> all right um and that should hopefully do that i'm gonna put sprinklers down there See, my biggest problem in the original prison was the fact that they could easily um, set fire to this room and then it would burn through. But with sprinklers galore, that should stop that from happening. All right, so does anybody think we've missed anything? Have we missed anything? Is Or is it done? Is the design complete? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Put it here. Uh, we need a dedicated common room. Make it that big? Ah, we'll make it bigger. There we go. Um... Uh, for the AA meetings and stuff because these smaller common rooms will have enough room to keep the prisoners happy in their little common room areas but they won't have enough for a for a um an AA meeting room so in this common room we'll have chairs going across the bottom and then chairs going up the side there uh ooh, there boom, boom 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 and then chairs going across there and chairs going across there like that so little AA meeting area and then we'll have some phone booths down the side there, and the door can be there. Yep. Yeah. And is that four? And that's five. Ugh. Okay. Um, annoys me. Door. Door done. Phone booth on that side. Oh, safe. Thank you. Put that bit in. And then we can put a pool table there, and a second pool table there. How is that for a common room? Excellent. Perfect. Done. <laughs> so, have we missed anything? Have we missed anything? Or is everything in the prison design right now? Nobody noticed what I've missed out then. But the one room we missed that we joked about during the uh, prep stage. <laughs> uh, uh, for now, one will do. I might build another one later. All right. We need a name for the prison now. But until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.